welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how i do makeup on chocolate skin so i'll start off by outlining the parameters of my client's eyebrows and to do that i'm using the david's number three eye pencil from the bottom outline i will outline the the top part of the eyebrows not going very far from what the natural shape is then i'll fill in the gaps that are in between these two outlines that i've already created to fill in i'm using light strokes and then i will take a spoolie and blend the natural hair as with the pencil product so to define these eyebrows i then take a concealer and clean the parameters of the eyebrows the concealer of choice is ideally a concealer that is two shades lighter than the skin tone so in this case i am using la girl pro concealer in the color fawn and as i'm outlining i'm also dragging some of the product towards the eyelid this is to prepare the eyelid for eyeshadow in the next step of this makeup look so it's best that you get a concealer brush that has a sharp edge i hope you can see that this concealer brush is relatively flat this helps in the precision of defining the parameters and then at the top part I am using a foundation the reason why i use a foundation is that it makes it very easy to blend over the concealer so to make this step more easy it is best that you use a concealer sorry you use a a foundation that is similar to the one that you will be using for the whole face or else use one that is one shade lighter which will make it very easy to to blend and then now i take my foundation brush and then i blend the concealer as well as the foundation on the forehead area as you've seen earlier and then now i'm applying foundation so to apply my foundation usually i blend my foundations to match the skin tone i barely use one shade of foundation i usually mix foundations until i find a match of the client's skin tone so now i am applying and i hope you can see that i'm applying in stippling motions don't drag the foundation because when you drag it it will create streaks on the on the face so i am dabbing and then the next step is to apply concealer on the under eye this is a technique i've recently learned so i apply it in the inner corner as well as the outer corner and then on the in between that gap i then apply a lighter concealer but i don't always apply a lighter concealer it's just that in this case she wanted a brighter under eye so i did that step and then on the cheekbones to define the cheekbones i apply the concealer please note that the concealer that i'm applying is two shades lighter than her skin tone which is the concealer that i also applied when i was defining her her eyebrows and then i take a blend a blending sponge and i blend the concealer and pay attention that i blend the concealer in tapping in tapping motions so i am tapping on the under on the under eye and these sponges come in different shapes there's this shape that I usually use where the front part is relatively flat, but you can also use this one that looks like an egg shape but has the 
that the a sharper tip that helps in going into the corners of the eye when you are blending or else you pinch the sponge like i am doing in this case for the smaller areas you can pinch the sponge and then now i'm setting my concealer and i'm using press powder so the press powder that i normally go for is a press powder that is the same shade as the concealer that i used in this case i'm using the smug concealer i hope i'm saying it right uh, it's a brand that is found at clicks so i just dab it on all the areas where i applied concealer which is the under eye the cheekbone the nose as well as the the forehead and then now i am applying my bronzer so the bronzer i will apply on the lower part of the cheekbones and please note that i apply it in an upward in an upward motion this is to help in lifting the face don't apply it downwards apply it upwards as you can see i apply it as well as the the forehead to bring back the warmth of of the face and then now on the high parts of my cheeks i am applying blush so i apply blush and i also recently started applying blush towards the temple of the face i learned this from fumi <laughs> and i really liked it so now i applied i i, I feel like it it makes a difference when you're applying your makeup so now i apply using that technique and then now i am baking lightly baking reason for this step is that i have applied the base before i did the eye so i want this fall off from the eyeshadow to fall onto this powder that i am applying uh, at this step but when i have not when when i start with the eye makeup i usually don't bake i just set the makeup so now we're moving on to the eye i start off by applying the transition shade which in this case i used orange because she wanted a very bold eye and then i go on to apply the crease shade which is a chocolate brown and then i go back with that transition color to blend the two which is the trans the crease shade as well as the transition shade and then now i am cutting her crease so to cut her crease i used uh the concealer the one that uh we had used earlier okay so now i am perfecting the curve of my crease and then i am filling in the rest of the lid with the concealer if you want a sharper concealer you can start by cleaning that area you can use Vaseline to clean out the curve and then you apply concealer. But in this case, I just applied the concealer straight onto the eye. And then now I'm applying my lead color. So the lead color that I'm applying is a bit shimmery. So I apply it using the same concealer brush because it has a bit of moisture so when it's moist it will become more shimmery than when it is dry so the next step i apply a bit of color which is the transition shade i'm applying it on the lid that is just to enhance the blending of the the colors and then now i'm going in with the deeper color that i uh, applied on the crease on the outer V and then now I'm blending the two colors together 
using a fluffy brush please note that for blending i use a a fluffy brush because of the br the the brittles it blends better and then now i apply the liquid liner on the eye line so that the lashes blend easily with the natural lashes the client here was sleepy <laughs> So now I'm removing the excess powder because we're done with the eyeshadows. I'm removing the excess powder on all the parts where I had applied excess powder. She's awake now. <laughs> so I'm taking the foundation brush to remove because as I'm removing, I'm also, I'm also blending. And then now I'm balancing what I did on the upper lid i'm doing that on the on the lower lid after applying my eyeliner i'm then blending the lower colors and then now i'm applying highlighter on the socket bone because she wanted drama so i was delivering giving her the drama that she wanted <laughs> and then now i take the blending brush to blend so now I am defining her nose. I'm contouring her nose using the color that I used to bronze. And then I'm highlighting her nose. I usually blend this part with my hand. I don't know why. <laughs> I apply it and then I just blend it with, with my hand. And then I'm going over that with the bronzing shade which I'm using to, to contour just to give the nose a bit of definition. So now we're on the lips. We're outlining the parameters of the lips. And then we're applying lipstick. On a normal day, when I apply a bold eye, I go for a nude shade. But when the client wants drama, I then go for bold eye and a bold lip, like in this case. So yeah, this marks the complete the completion of the makeup. And then the next step was application of a highlighter. And then I applied the lashes. And yeah, that is relatively it. Thank you so much, good people, for watching up to this far. I really appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It would really mean a lot if you'd subscribe. Thank you so much. And let's set this face. And then we call it a day. <laughs> Thank you so much, good people, for watching. God bless you.